Hey, I'm Natasha Gargiulo, and I've been having such a great time connecting with all of you through my lives on Instagram. But then I thought, why don't I do an extended version of this and connect with my friends around the world just to see how they're coping with the COVID crisis. Now, everyone, it looks, is either becoming a master chef or a do-it-yourself pro. And I attempted to paint my own bathroom one day, and then my friend Debbie Travis from the UK DM'd me and told me I was doing it all wrong. So I decided to call her up and see how she's coping with the new normal. Debbie, it's always a pleasure seeing your beautiful face anywhere in the world that you end up being, right? Oh, God, yeah. Well, here I am. I'm in London. <laughs> so you're right. in London, and in honor of you today, I'm drinking my coffee out of my London oh, mug. Oh, you! I should have mug, shouldn't I? So it's what are you doing? How have you been adapting to this self-isolation? Because you're always on the go. So how has it affected your life? You know, one minute I'm kind of good, and I'm, you know, I'm getting ideas and stuff and, and working. I'm, I've got, had quite a lot of work to do, but, um, and then the next is just doom and gloom. So I, I've started to reduce down the, um, the television because, uh, or the news. Yeah, I think we're all going stir crazy and a lot of people have kind of discovered new talents by being in this self-isolation where we're kind of figuring out, oh, you know, I got a green thumb or I can do some home decor as you witnessed. I kind of painted my bathroom, which it's okay, but it's not Debbie Travis approved, I know. I was getting so frustrated, like, no! <laughs> I think when the weather turns, it's good to do a few projects. It's great for the kids too, you know, you can, because everybody's trying to keep their families excited, right? Right. So what do you think as a pro, what do you think the new normal of home design is gonna be? You know, try and make things nice. You can't get flowers here, I don't know about, you know, in Montreal, but you can't get any fresh flowers. And that's, that's depressing, you know, but I think we start to appreciate it because we're spending a lot of time. I keep looking around going, I need something here and I need something here. And you know me, I love home. I, I'm so lucky to have these three places and Toronto is a condo, but Italy, you know, is vast. You've been and it's, you know, it's 14 bedrooms and it's three buildings and a hundred acres and whatever. And of course, I can't go. <laughs> I'm stuck here. I can't get back and I don't have the right papers. Well, what's happening with your retreats? Because you organize your beautiful Tuscan yeah. retreat. Um, so this was our big, big year. Um, we were full all year, all year. And um, really excited. Uh, but not anymore. I, I got here five weeks ago and they were literally shutting it because Italy was kind of one of the first where they shut things down. And uh, I just got on a flight and, and people were very quiet. It was like half full and people just sat there and you could feel it was coming. You, f you could feel something was wrong globally. Yeah, and here we are, we're 40 days later in quarantine. Um, and you wrote a book called Design Your Next Chapter. So how do we- I know it's gonna come out back to front, right? There you uh, go. I'm sure lots of people have grabbed this book and they're reading it because with all the time on our hands, we're gonna try and figure out what our next chapter is, right? Exactly, and it's really funny because I thought I better read it again because I'm getting so many questions. And one day last week, I actually read to everybody, like a mummy, you know, sitting at home. <laughs> That's great, <laughs> story time with Debbie. They, they loved it and it's like, get your cup of tea, you know, and we'll do it, and we did it live and it was kind of cute. But I, I, I do think it's very poignant now and, and the paperback, of course, has just come out. <laughs> of course, you know, there's no bookshops, but, uh, but you can get it on, um, you know, the usual online stuff. But I think it's, um, it's a really good time because we've been gifted time now. What have you been binging? As in streaming or watching? Uh, Money Heist. Oh, yes. Great. Oh, I think I'm the only person in the world who hadn't watched it. Um, and I love it. I love the characters. And I'm actually, I didn't like the dub. So I'm watching it in Spanish with English subtitles. And finally, I'm, I'm observing your hair and I'm thinking, how's your hair doing during this crisis? Well, that's what I keep looking at, you know, in the screen. So I did get a, for the first time in my life, I got a, um, a home kit, um, a, like a kind of a good one, an organic one, just to kind of do the roots. Um, and uh, yeah, so I think the first thing I'm going to do when I go out is have a wax and get my yeah. hair done. You know, I look like I've got moon boots on. <laughs> <laughs> Ditto. <laughs> but we're all in this together. We're all living the same life. <laughs> 
<laughs> the yeah. struggle is real, right? We're all in this together. You look beautiful and I can't yeah. wait to give you a, I'm sending yeah. you a virtual hug. I really am. Me yeah. too. Me too. I always love talking to you, Debbie Travis. Uh, and you can follow her too on Instagram. She's got a lot of tips and hacks on how to get through this crisis. That's it for this episode of The New Normal. See you next time.